Hey friends, welcome back to Bountiful Blessing Homestead. My name is Kat and we are in my kitchen and we are going to process the tomatoes. <laughs> I've got them all along the top up there. I've got them all over the counter there. I've got a bunch over here that need to be put in the window to finish um, changing color. Some of them are ripe, some of them are not, but I have a bunch that need to finish ripening. The ones over on the counter over there and in the windowsill are all ripe. I have more in my basket here. I got some tomatoes. So I've been so blessed with such a bumper crop of tomatoes from what I planted. Um, I did some um, like big boy, regular red, hearty tomatoes, like beef steaks and things for sandwiches. Um, but, and I did some Romas and those have come out really nicely. Um, but I did a lot of the um, purple Cherokee because Tim loves them or his favorite. So I did a lot of those. They have had bumper crops. They've done a great job for me. So I'm very satisfied. Um, I've made salsa, I have made um, tomato sauce, and now I'm going to do tomato juice. Um, so I'm going to do tomato juice, get that going. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is wash my tomatoes. So I'll get those washed, and then once I'm done with that, then I will bring you back to the next step. Okay, next step, we have washed a bunch of our tomatoes. Now we are going to use a core. Um, this is going to take the core out of the tomato. And I have a really sharp knife. I'm going to um, core the tomatoes and then I'm going to cut them into um, sections and put them into my pot so I can start cooking them down. Um, the cores uh, and the residue peels and things from when I get done with this uh, are not going to go to waste because I'm going to throw them to my chickens tomorrow. So I'll put them in a container and throw them out to the chickens. So uh, we're going to get going on coring and cutting and then we will be on to the next step. This is working really well. It's taking the cores right out of the middle for me with the stems. So then I can just cut the rest of the tomato up right into the pot. So that's working really well. I am taking the time, if I find any bad spots, any little spots on here, um, like right here, there's kind of an icky spot. I am taking the time to cut that off. And again, that'll go out to my chickens tomorrow, so it won't go to waste. Nothing goes to waste on the homestead. All right, so now I'm going to use my potato masher um, and I'm going to mash these while they are in the pot. So I want to uh, mash them up as much as I can by hand here and I'm also stirring them occasionally because I want to make sure that I um, don't let them scorch on the bottom of the pan. So, um, But I'm going to do this and keep adding to it and then um, I'll cook them down until they're soft, until they're really soft. So. Um, I don't know how long it'll take, 5, 10, 15 minutes, we'll see. Um, I'll let you know um, how long it took by the time I get in it. But it doesn't look like it's going to take too long because they're mashing up really well because they're very ripe. So um, I think we're going to be able to get through that part pretty quickly. Okay, so I cooked one pot down and um, strained it out. And as you can see, here we have tomato juice. So is that all it is? That's tomato juice? That's yep. what we gotta do? Cool. And over here is the skins and the seeds. Those will go to the chickens tomorrow. Um, there's a few seeds that got through in the juice here and I'm using this milk strainer because it should catch what few seeds got in there. So I'm going to fill these jars and uh, see how much we've got. I've got quart jars here and uh, we still have a whole lot more to go. Tim's over here helping me out. He's working on them. So yep. uh, I'm going to get some of this jarred up and see how we do. Mm -hmm. 
We're going to fill these up to about a quarter inch head space. So we're going to go right about here. So that's why I stopped because um, this is full up here. So we're going to see how much we have left in here. I think we'll probably be right at the right spot. All right. We'll move on to the next one and we'll see how many we end up with. guys we ended up with nine beautiful quarts of a homegrown home processed tomato juice easy as that to put in our pantry so hope you enjoyed the video and until next time be blessed and be a blessing bye for now